guys, it's Megan and I am here to do a very, very candid and real what's in my bag video. This sucker is a disaster and I thought that it would be so fun to go through this with you guys and clean it out so then I can be a real human with an organized purse again. So this is just oh my god it is a mess but i love this purse so much that i wanted to do a another feature on it it's the michael kors medium selma saffiano leather in damson they don't sell this color but they sell this purse and it's it's like the perfect like shoulder bag or like crook of your arm bag it just looks so pretty it is so like chic looking for the price it looks way more expensive than it actually costs and i would always recommend buying like last season's color or any of their discounted colors because all of their colors are so gorgeous and you can get them at such a fraction of the cost so um i love this it has the gold hardware it has a little feet on the bottom and the saffiano leather just never shows wear it looks absolutely perfect and i've had this for almost a year so I'm going to go through everything with you guys and just do an old school what's in my bag. I love these videos. I love snooping through people's stuff and just hearing their little stories. I think it's really fun. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, I have a water bottle. I tried to use like reusable water bottles, but today we were like really out and about. So I just took a normal water bottle. Then I have my keys on my, um, this is called Bangle and Babe. It's a silicone ring. You, it's basically like that O-ring company that Lisa Lisa D1 talks about, but this is a, um, like small business. You can get it on Etsy and it's just really nice to throw on your wrist and, just have that ease of use so I am not a mom or anything like that but I am like always going places and so this just helps me put on my wrist if I have to do things with my hands like when I'm at the cash register I can just put this on my wrist if I don't have pockets like in the winter I just stuff it in my pockets but in the summer this is especially helpful and I can always find my keys because of this big ring so I will link this store down below and I just think it's brilliant so and I love that color then I have my wallet this is the um Disney rose gold like Minnie Mouse wallet that Caitlin got me for Christmas from Disney World and obviously I can't like show you guys all my stuff but I have like my ID and my credit cards in here and then I just keep cash in this part the thing with this is that it doesn't like snap very well you have to get it exactly right which is kind of annoying um and then back here in this section I have like store cards um loyalty cards and then coupons as well like I have so many of these cold stone coupons because everyone knows I'm obsessed with cold stone oh man these expired bummer I'm obsessed with cold stone and they have shut down almost all of them around me so whenever I can get to cold stone I always do I love the mud pie mojo that's my favorite one so great now I have to throw these out but I have coupons in there this is something so useful if you have a larger bag or like a backpack or something. This is called the um, Nest XL. And what this is, is basically a way to wrap your um, charging cords around something and keep it contained. So you just pop this open, it's all silicone, and then you put your charging cable and then wrap it around and then stick the ends in this part and then just close it up. And I have a smaller one. I don't think it's in here. Oh, yes, it is. A smaller one for my headphones, and this is just called the Nest. So I have these in my Amazon store, so I'll link that down below for you guys. These were recommended to me last year at some point by one of you guys, so thank you so much if you're the one that recommended these. These have just changed the way that I organize my cords in my purse. So just like the um, the charging cord for headphones, the same thing, you wrap it around and then just tuck it in this middle part and then just pop this back on. So it's really awesome. It keeps your cords not tangled and these are must-haves to me now. 
Same with this. I love this little Tangle Teaser compact brush. And it has like a little backing on it so it doesn't get all disgusting in your purse. And you can just brush your hair at any time with this. It has like a really ergonomic design sparkly there's different kinds of course there's like a hello kitty one that i really want um but i only need one so this is amazing and i get so many questions on this when i use it people are like what is that and i'm like it's a tangle teaser compact brush okay I have two phones in here. So I have my personal iPhone 8 um, with my Patrick background on it. I have always used this background on my phones for years and years. And people are always like, it's such a good conversation starter because you're they're like, oh, what's your background? And I'm like, it's Patrick Star. <laughs> So yes, I love Spongebob and Patrick. So I love my iPhone 8. I never want a different phone until they, I don't know. I don't know what would make me want a different phone than this because it's just perfect. I have an OtterBox clear case on it. Um, and then I have this kind of like jewel um, pop socket and I love it. And then I have a Samsung S8 for work. I just recently got this and it's in just like a plain OtterBox case. I like this but I'm definitely so accustomed to my iPhone 8 that it's not as easy to use. Like they're pretty similar. Like this is the iPhone and this is the Samsung. The Samsung is a little bigger but I just have to use it ever so like not very often um but I have it now then I like to keep a snack or two in here oh I have a candy cane from Christmas um I have these little Sahel snacks these are the pomegranate vanilla flavored cashews and I got a few of these little small packs I think from HelloFresh one time and these are okay. I thought I would really like them because they look all like hipstery and I always like that kind of like bougie packaging type of stuff. Like this just looks like so chic and like amazing but the actual stuff is like pretty average. Then I have this which can definitely be taken out. This is just a card holder from Herschel that I used in Disney World. I don't have anything in it now because I don't need it normally but I guess I just threw it in there. This is really useful um, just to have a few like card slots and then a bigger section in the middle for cash. I This comes in handy a lot if you need to pack really late. I have some napkins, that's cool. Oh, let's see what these receipts are. Okay, so we have, oh, this was from USPS when I shipped out my um, giveaway packages from Vlogmas. And so um, those winners got their prizes already and I'm so happy. This, oh my God, rant, this Wegmans lunch that I went to yesterday. I had a great time with two of my coworkers at Wegmans for lunch. But good God, is it expensive to eat at the Wegmans like food court area, like where you serve yourself and then they weigh it. For what I got, which was like a normal amount of food, I got a little thing of fruit and then a like normal sized dish with all sorts of like Asian food and then a water bottle. $19.49 that meal was not worth 20 bucks to me by any stretch of the imagination so it was worth it for the conversation but not like not worth that price for that food at all oh my god this is my um ticket stub for when i saw if beale street could talk great movie if you get the chance to see it definitely do i just love all of barry jenkins movies so this was really special to see then I have, oh, when I went to Qdoba after I saw if Beale Street could talk and this, I, I don't know if I really have talked to you guys about what I get at Qdoba, but they used to have something on their menu called Craft 2 where you could pick two different things and have it be like a combo, which is my favorite way to eat. Like I would just love sample platters as my meals forever. Like I just love different 
flavors and textures. So the Craft 2 is not on their menu anymore, but you can still order it. So I get the Craft 2 with two pork tacos and the um, nachos. So that is what I do and that's what I got last weekend. Okay, then, oh my god, I have this big um, Kendra Scott jewelry bag full of coins. I don't know where I was last that I would need all these coins to pay for parking, but I just have coins all thrown in here, so I need to clean that up, but I always keep my coins in... My dad does this, so this is why I do it. He uses like a Ziploc bag to keep all his coins, and I use... A jewelry bag so it doesn't seem as like weird but it still seems weird like why don't I just have a coin purse I don't know I keep it in a weird ass bag then I have two of these hair clips from Claire's these are the best hair clips for like a half up half down I love the like patterns on them I think they're so cute and I usually always have one of those in my purse okay then oh my gosh I was looking for this this is a gift certificate to my hair salon that Hannah Revenge Hair is at now she's at a different salon now so I bought a gift certificate the last time I got my hair done so then I can go back and it was like a deal that they were doing okay the oh my gosh there's this too I thought I lost this this is like a little earring like a little cuff earring from Gorgiana that really irritates my ear like it's so cute I really love it but it really irritates my ear and it just like falls off all the time because it doesn't pinch like closed enough but I'll just leave it in for now okay the rest of this yep I think that's it the rest of this is all lip products that I have in a plastic bag I have so many cute makeup bags and yet I have all this stuff in a plastic bag but you know why I do it's because when we were on vacation this went through the TSA so I had to put it in a plastic bag but I need to get like one of my cute bags so I can look like a respectable human all right so these are really fun these are the red earth have fun lipstick matches and these are the red color they are literally just matchsticks with lipstick pigment on one end and they are so pigmented they're so gorgeous there's a few different colors and what I would like to do in this video I did not plan this but I bought a few extras and so I would love to do a giveaway for you guys. So these are two, the two other Red Earth Lipstick Matte shades. And these are more like neutral colors. You can kind of see them swatched here. And I would love to do two separate winners. So usually it's like one winner wins all the stuff I show, but I would love to pick two of you guys to each get one of these. They're very similar in color. So even though they have different packaging, the color is almost identical. So they're completely sealed, um, but they are like this where it's like a little match, which I think is really fun. Um, and I would just love to give back to two of you guys so all you have to do is be a subscriber like this video give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below and I will pick a winner in one week and I will comment back to you and then you will have to email me with your address so you have to feel comfortable doing that um, in order to enter but it's international anyone can win I would just really love to give back to you guys so two winners which I think is really fun and that was kind of impromptu I didn't I didn't think of that before this video, but this made me think of it. All right, what else is in here? I have so many lip balms, just like clear lip balms, but they're all different and they're all necessary. My favorite one is the Burt's Bees. I've gone through so many of these, so that's always in there. I um, got within the past few months this Hurrah Mint Lip Balm. I have wanted to try this brand for a long time. It's like a more natural brand. They sell it at my Wegmans grocery store and probably like Whole Foods and places like that. But this is really nice. I like the shape of it. It's like an oval and smells really nice and minty and it's more like slick. The Burt's Bees is more of a thick um, like dryish consistency so you have to really like rub it on but then I feel like it lasts longer 
the hurrah is more thin and like slick like I said more like um I don't know it's just easier to apply but I don't feel like it moisturizes my lips for as long then I have this um, Soft Lips Hot Cocoa Hello Kitty lip balm. That's the only reason I got it is because it was Hello Kitty. But it really does smell chocolatey. It's so nice but not very moisturizing. And then I have my Vanilla Coke um, Lip Smackers lip balm. Which again doesn't really moisturize but it smells so good. Okay then I have three of these um, L'Oreal color reshines these are the best of the best the one that i'm wearing right now is topless this one is so good it's just like a nude pink it's everything it is it's oh my god it's probably their best color then i have this one that's called hashtag bay and it's just like a white like kind of holographic shiny color it's really pretty um and it's basically just like a lip balm and then I have burnished blush which is gorgeous honestly oh my god that's a color my mom would love I think my mom picked out varnished rosewood but this was like her second choice but these are such amazing formula then I have MAC Fabby, which I don't normally keep in my purse, but I wore it one day. And it's just like a cool tone nude. It's really pretty. Cool tone nude pink. It's gorgeous. This I use all the time, the Clarins Instant Light Lip Balm Perfector in the shade 08. I think it's called Plum. This is so wonderful to just slap on any time, and it kind of leaves a stain on your lips. It is stunning and so easy to apply even without a mirror. I love how thin it is. I've used so much of this. Like this is almost gone. Like I have only that much left and like it was a lot <laughs> fuller than that um, when it started. So really, really love that. And it smells like caramel. Then I have this little Buxom Celeste lip gloss, which I love, and I wore this a lot around Christmas. This is the NARS Star Woman Power Matte Lip Pigment. I have to wear this for you guys soon. It is so, so beautiful. Like, look at that luxurious red. Oh my god, it is, it is so beautiful. It looks so good on, and it's it's just stunning so that is everything everything is out of here I just have like the longer strap in here so that is it you guys I hope you enjoyed this crazy um, what's in my bag but I feel so much better I'm gonna organize it well and not insane and not just throw everything in because when I just start to throw stuff in I just keep like doing that because it's already a mess so I'm gonna make it look all nice and neat and then take care of it um but I hope you guys enjoyed this definitely leave me a comment down below if you want to be entered to win those lipstick matches I can't wait to give back to two of you guys I love you all so much thanks thank you for being here thank you for spending time with me thank you for getting my weirdness I really appreciate it and I will see you soon bye